How's everybody doing? Okay, so my name is uh, Jelly, or you guys can call me Holly. Um, so fun fact about me, I actually used to be married. Um, it only lasted about two years, so not too long. But I actually, I learned a lot. And uh, my friends would be like, oh yeah? What'd you learn? I'd be like, uh, a lot? I, I guess I, I kind of learned to cook and clean. But uh, I learned how to do my laundry, y'all. I actually, I didn't learn to do laundry until I was 19 years old. One day I was at home by myself. I was like, no problem, I'll, I'll do it myself. Got my basket of clothes. I go to the, laun to the washer. And I was like, huh. <laughs> no, that's not it. Where do you put the quarters in? Daddy, I said there'd be quarters. <laughs> you hear the door open? Amma, Amma, you here? Show me, please, real quick. No, but honestly, um, just being married kind of changes the way you see things. Like, have you guys ever seen the movie The Wedding Singer? Yes. So, you know how at the end, um, Adam Sandler, he goes into the plane and he sings the song to Drew Barrymore. And in the song, he says, I'll leave a ledge, you hold a remote control. All I could think is, dang, that's some white people problems right there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, people nowadays don't write it into a vow, like, baby. I will let you hold the remote controls on Mondays, Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. But if it's football season, get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, we were we were actually really poor uh, when we got married. We had to uh, move to Mexico. No, I mean uh, East Las Vegas. <laughs> so, we were so poor, we had two channels. We had the CW and the channel Fox 5. So our options were either Vampire Diaries or Glee. And my husband, he was like, I ain't no queer. So every Tuesday, we watched The Wonderful World of Glee. <laughs> yeah. It must be nice to be white. I mean, uh, rich. <laughs> no, but we never had any children, and thank God, because I refuse to have children. And I know, I know what you're thinking, but you're Mexican. <laughs> Isn't that against your beliefs? <laughs> no, I, I really can't. I just, I don't think I have the mommy instinct in me. Like, I can't be responsible for a whole nother person. And we're just dealing with regular kids here. Like, honestly, sometimes I think about the Virgin Mary, how she had to, how she felt taking care of Jesus. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a story in the Bible about where Jesus went missing for three days. Mary must have freaked out when she lost Jesus. Her husband, Joseph, must have been like, you lost the Messiah? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mary, you had one job. <laughs> and your job was to watch Jesus. <laughs> no, man. Good thing that I wasn't left to uh, take care of Jesus. I would have ruined him. If I would have found Jesus after those three days, whoo! I would have been like, come here, little boy. I would pull the chair. Like, who do you think you are? Yeah, 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 you're Jesus, but I'm still your mother. You still need to ask for my permission. Get in there. Take my chunk and throw it at him. Forget that. No, but. So, no, I can handle kids, so. Like, I'll even babysit sometimes. You know, just. A few shots of bourbon, and we're, we're golden. <laughs> no, but the, the bourbon's for me. The kids get to meet a Uncle Jose Cuervo. <laughs> but, you know, if they're a good kid. Maybe I'll upgrade them to Patron. You never know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, just, I like to exaggerate just to annoy my friends. Like, oh, um, I'll be at lunch with them. They'll be like, oh, my God, girl, did you hear Brittany just gave birth? I'll be like, what? <laughs> Dude, I'm eating here. <laughs> No, but, um, and what's funny is that all the, you know, if I take care of your kids, then you must be a really good friend to me. But I refuse to use the word best friend or BFF. I don't know, I just, I think like the, the word is too second grade. So instead, I'll use the term FFF. You're my fat friend forever. <laughs> so if you are my FFF, you will get a late night calls for me for a foodie call. <laughs> so. Um, also, if, you, if you're my FFF, uh, you do know that I like to give perverted hugs. So, and the perverted hug, I just, I just my, my legs get into it, I just, just really get into it, you gotta smell the hug. But if you, if you get a perverted hug from me, that means you did something right. So you gotta earn that hug. 
And I know guys are like, I'm gonna be friends with her right there. That's my friend. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that easy though. You know, just bring me some in and out, and I'll think about it. <laughs> All right, guys, my time.